Playoff zone, man, it's time. It's time, man, we want to win the ring, it's time, it's time. It's time, Amanda, it's time. It's time, it's time. I'm hype, I'm hype as hell, I'm ready to go. This is the craziest ending to an NBA season ever. What an absolutely goaded way to end one of the best seasons in league history. This week in the NBA was complex, and the complications got more and more absurd as the week went along. All of that to then climax in a wild finale. What a time to be alive. Are you ready? Oops, too long, we're starting. Chapter one, last Saturday, the conductor in his bag. Saturday night in the association was a playoff primer, with teams jockeying for position ahead of the postseason. From dominant displays to statement wins, the stage was set for a thrilling playoff run. Over in LA, the Lakers unleashed their inner beast, as LeBron, like the boogeyman that he is, continued to assert his dominance against his former team. Lob Bro went mental in this one, revving up his engines for his patented chase down block. Got it with the basketball. Chase it down. Block oh, by God. Jay. In the final five seconds of the game, the Lakers' two headed monster started straight up trolling. Look at this. Little cat and mouse. I mean, the league has to do something about that kind of play. I mean, that's just, that's just ridiculous. The Lakers, favored by five, delivered a resounding 19-point victory, while the King improved his record against his former team to 19 and 13. Absolute domination. The Cavs had been imploding to finish the season, and this loss put them one game closer to losing the third seed in the standings. Meanwhile, in Denver, Jamal Murray's return lit up Mile High City as they routed the Hawks. Coach Malone couldn't contain his excitement about Jamal's return, saying, But having Jamal start gets Reggie back with that second unit, more of a natural order to things for us. And it was great to have Jamal Murray back. Nikola Jokic continued to orchestrate plays like a seasoned quarterback, threading the needle with pinpoint precision, with his triple-double feet punctuated by an insane cut pass. Jump it! Cole Pope! Got it! What a pass! The Nuggets put on a passing clinic, dishing out a season-best 38 assists. Even Denver's bench mob got in on the action, erupting for 58 points, with Jay Huff adding some extra spice in garbage time with some tough stuff. For Hunter Tyson, 54 oh, and oh, 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 grabbing speed. The Nuggets, favored by 10 and a half, delivered a commanding 32-point victory and seized sole possession of first place in the West. And with the Hawks stumbling to defeat, it became official. The Bulls were now locked in for a showdown against the Hawks in the nine versus 10 play-in game. But in the heart of Memphis, the court decided to misbehave and we were blessed with a tag team spectacle as Buddy Heald and Gigi Jackson decided to unleash their inner dancers, attempting to groove the floor back into alignment. But push the board back into the court. <laughs> Teamwork, like I said, just when you thought you've seen everything. They did it. They <laughs> However, Joel Embiid was like a mad scientist in a lab. If that mad scientist was also possessed by the spirit of a seven-foot point guard. Embiid from the free throw line. Back-to-back -back buckets for Joel Embiid. And her, he's our first player tonight in the double figures. Sure, Embiid admitted he's still shaking off some rust from his knee surgery. But you wouldn't know it from the way he was tearing up the court. In the first half alone, this Goliath of a man dropped 22 points on 7 of 10 shooting. Joel Leading the break oh my. behind the back, oh back my. to him. What a fast break by your Philadelphia 76ers and Kyle Lowry all smiles. The Sixers, heavily favored by 14 and a half, cruised to a comfortable 20 point victory and inched closer to that coveted seventh place in the standings. Chapter two, Sunday night. No Kawhi, no problem. On Sunday night, NBA players showcased their A-game, delivering moments of pure brilliance as the season reached its peak. At the epicenter of Texas's basketball fervor, the refs hit Luka with a tech for celebrating too hard. This, uh, Luka got a tee. Luka got the tee, and now Brooks is taunting Luka. Doesn't seem like that warrants a technical. Uh, it just depends on, you know, how emotional you are. Dylan the villain was elated, but the trolling backfired, with the Mavs targeting him ferociously on defense. Oh, Luca put Brooks in the blender. All they can do is laugh. Dylan Brooks is in. He's got five fouls. So Kai's going to have a go right at him. Wow! Exquisite! <laughs> That's incredible. And of course, it wouldn't be a Rockets game without a dash of drama. Oh, 
And man, Hardaway stepping in to protect his teammate. Um in Thompson and Kleba. Kleba goes down. Hardaway immediately gets involved. With the Rockets up three, with less than eight seconds left in the game, Dante decided to exum the game with the trifecta. Exum. And in OT, Luka's knee was literally bleeding, but he was still out there making plays like a true warrior. Block! Block Luka! His knees are bleeding, and he's blocking jumpers! Here's an oxygen mask. I gotta go lay down after this game. I gotta go lay down, man. The game ended with Luka and Kyrie embracing as the Rockets missed their final shot at the buzzer. Kyrie dropped a season-high 48 points to lead the Mavericks, favored by 9 to an 11-point victory, officially eliminating Houston from play in contention. But over in San Antonio, Tyrese Maxey had himself a game, going off for a career-high 52 points. Tyrese spinning his way through the defense and kissing it off the window. When Banyama, on the other hand, was busy adding look-away threes to his repertoire. Victor. The Sixers bench could practically smell the greatness oozing from Wemby. Branham, back to the Oh, I thought he was going to shoot that one. Goes to the corner. Got it! He wanted the corner three, not the side three. Decision. The game was tight, so at the end of the fourth, Philly had to draw up the perfect play to free up Maxi to force OT. The two in the Maxi, Tyrese Maxi lays it up and in. We're tied at 111. In overtime, he continued his blistering ways to lead the three and a half favored Sixers to emerge victorious by seven points, while Brunson and Divincenzo were torching the Bucks into submission. Shot clock at eight. Brunson goes inside, stops, leans in, scoots underneath, shot is good, and a foul. Tough shot from Brunson, back to DiVincenzo. Shot clock at two, DiVincenzo has to put it up. Bang! As the shot clock expires, Dante DiVincenzo puts the next back up by 11. The Pelicans had their sights set on revenge, and Zion was commander-in-chief. Durant blocked away! His fourth block of the game. Bradley Beal, though, came through for the Suns, shooting an impressive 7 of 8 from beyond the arc. Erkic outside, sets a big, old jarring screen as Bradley Beal deposits the corner three. Real deal, Bradley Beal. Nurkic picks the pocket of McCollum. Unzer has a pass into the corner. Boom! Wow. But since it was Sunday, the Pelicans decided it was time for a baptism. Got the switch to Nurkic. Should be able to go by him. He will. Oh, Anders it home! I'll tell you what, is there a better day than Sunday to baptize somebody, Joe? <laughs> On their way to beating the five and a half favored Suns by eight points, this game tied the two teams at sixth in the West, with the Suns holding the tiebreaker. However, the craziest finish of the night occurred in LA. The Cavaliers were facing the Clippers, and they came out blazing, yeah. leading 80 to 59 at halftime. After shooting 60% from the floor, the lead ballooned to 26 points midway into the third. But then the unthinkable happened. The Clippers managed to rally back from the massive deficit, with PG-13 putting the exclamation mark on the impressive comeback. Seven to shoot for George. Three to shoot. Gets down. Let's it fly for the lead. Hot damn! Clippers lead by two! Harden's reaction was out of this world. But George wasn't done just yet, deciding to put the cherry on top with a crucial block. Garland has it. He's got 28 for the Cavaliers. He gets downhill. He gets to the rim. Blocked by George! What hasn't he done tonight? Despite missing Kawhi, the Clippers staged an incredible comeback from a 26-point deficit, marking the third largest comeback victory in franchise history. Favored by four, LA pulled off a nail-biting win by two points. Chapter 3, Monday Night.
an annual tradition. On Monday, the NBA took a day off because the NCAA Men's Basketball National Championship game was on that night. Meanwhile, I was busy working on something to help some of you who have seen me build this channel from the ground up and would like to create your own channels. The goaded way, of course. Obviously, this isn't for everyone. But if that sounds interesting to you, you can sign up for the waitlist by following the link in the description. Chapter 4 Tuesday Night Trouble in the Valley of the Sun as the NBA playoff picture crystallized with each passing game. Tuesday night in the association served as a stark reminder of the high-stakes drama that awaits in the postseason. In Milwaukee, the Bucks came out swinging. And right away, up top, Middleton sets up Giannis, and that's how we start the ball game. But their night took a turn for the worse, as Giannis went down clutching his calf all on his lonesome. We we're keeping an eye on uh, Giannis here. He just sat down on the floor, kind of looking at his left lower leg. So this is something no Bucks fan wants to see. As Candace Parker wisely noted. So I think anytime there's a non-contact injury, oh, it's, so it's scary, I mean, especially the way that Giannis plays. Um, but just hoping for the best for him and for the Bucks. Before Giannis' injury, the Bucks were on a heater, coming out the game with a blazing start that gave them a 24-point lead after the first half. Pat Bev started in this game and went off for 20 and 10. Beverly fires a three and hits a three. Patrick Beverly the last two possessions. And after the entire 48 minutes were up, both teams had shot just two free throw attempts combined. A statistical anomaly that hasn't been seen dating back to the 1963-64 season. Now we're moving back to 63-64. No games with five or fewer combined free throws made. Tonight there's just been one. I think we're safe. Just to give you some perspective, the All-Star game, <laughs> there were five free throw attempts. <laughs> the Celtics completely fumbled the bag, losing by 13 points to the Giannis Les Bucks. Meanwhile, in La La Land, the Warriors were visiting, and Chef Curry was baking some unbelievable dimes in the oven. Curry the other way, and Reeves in the way. Oh, what a pass! What a pass by Curry! My goodness! Just threads away right through three defenders. Golden State came into the arena and rained down a deluge of three pointers on the purple and gold. 26 trays, to be exact, with Draymond the Destroyer impressing the most, as Bro was able to shoot a perfect 5 for 5 in the first half alone. Spin Curry behind the back to Green, free to fire triple. What is going on here with Draymond Green? Is he one of an honorary Splash Brother? Is he a cousin? <laughs> Why not? It's Why not? Flame for Why green. not? He is a flamethrower. <laughs> Words I thought I'd never say. The Lakers were missing AD, and King James tried to lead the charge with 33 and 11. James spinning. He's in deep. Count it. But it was not enough to stop the Warriors from cruising to a commanding 14-point victory while Embiid was busy cooking up his own brand of basketball sorcery. Oh. Oh. It up as he's falling down. How did he do that? He wanted the foul call, too. You look at Maxi, he's perplexed. Anthony Edwards decided to go off on the Wizards, putting up the first 50-point game of his young career. Edwards. Driving in the lane, flips it up, and in the first 50-piece of his career. And 50 sit likes it. <laughs> yes, he does. And Ant just looking right at 50 set, just holding the 50 out. But Andre Drummond said, hold my beer while I give my acceptance speech into the Shackton of Fool Hall of Fame. Andre Drummond knocked it free, and Tory Craig! Timeout! Oh my goodness! Wow! Billy Donovan is furious right and now, Drummond and Andre hurt. Drummond is hurt oh, after all that. Man, you got to be kidding me! This one play alone is a perfect summary of the type of season the Bulls have been having this year. However, nothing was as savage as Divincenzo spoiling Kobe White's moment after the man had just etched his name in Bulls history.
Bush from Valparaiso, Indiana. Oh, oh my, my God, you went across state lines. Oh, man. What a sequence to end the opening half in a wild first 24 minutes. But the most important game of the night occurred in the Valley of the Sun, where the Clippers clashed with the Suns while missing both Kawhi and Harden. The Suns were fighting to stay out of the Western Conference play-in tournament, but you wouldn't have been able to tell from watching the game. With two minutes left in the first quarter, the score was 32-4, advantage Clippers. George for three. My goodness. 35 to 4. There's maybe 15 people in this arena that are happy on <laughs> the Clipper bench right now. On defense, these mans were as useless as a one legged man in a butt kicking contest. Westbrook takes it out of the scrum in overdrive. Highland finds the seams, takes it straight to the rack and lays it in. The Clippers are out in front 53 to 16. Of course, they attempted a fake comeback, but it was all too late. Russ put up his first triple-double of the season against his old teammate to lead the Clippers to clinch a playoff spot while securing the Pacific Division crown with a 13-point W. With the loss, the Suns surrendered the sixth seed back to the Pelicans, which might come back to bite them in the behind so late into the season. Chapter 5, Wednesday night. Leave nothing on the bone. On hump day, the NBA brought the heat as MVP contenders took center stage. Playoff-bound squads flexed their muscles, and the intensity of postseason basketball loomed large in every matchup. In Denver, this is how the best player on earth decided to start the game. As Jokic continues to mess around with uh, CJ Washington. The Wolves didn't appreciate the antics, so when the game commenced, they accepted the challenge. Blocked by Gobert! Quickly up ahead, Nas Reed behind the back, go back! That was up until Joker made it his mission to dominate the best defense in the NBA, dropping an impressive 41 points on an astonishing 80% field goal percentage. Jokic comes up with it. Jokic coming in. Score and a foul. And Rudy Gobert is going berserk. The game had the makings of a nail biter before the Nuggets completely turned the whole thing into a dunk fest. Check the basketball. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Blocked by Watson. Ahead to Watson. Slam goes! The future of the Denver Nuggets is bright. The Nuggets, favored by seven and a half, ended up winning by nine points, snatching a one-game lead over Minnesota and Oklahoma City. After the game, Coach Malone couldn't help but marvel at Jokic's brilliance. Rudy Gobert is going to be a Hall of Fame player one day. Rudy Gobert is going to be regarded as one of the best defenders of his generation. And it just speaks to how great Nikola is. You know, I, I don't think anybody in the NBA can guard Nikola one on one. Meanwhile, on Trey Young's return after 23 games, Brandon Miller decided it was his time to shine. Record holder in Cleveland. Oh! What just happened? Brandon Miller happened! It's official. The Hornets absolutely nailed it by picking him in the draft. And their commentary crew is one of the littest in the entire NBA. But over in LA, the Clippers decided to roll out a skeleton crew. With Kawhi, Paul George, Harden, Zubak, and Westbrook taking a night off, Bones Highland took this as the perfect opportunity to prove that when the cat's away, the mice will play. Bro went off for a career-high 37 points and drained six triples along the way. Crowd is loving it. Highland for the lead. Oh! But 37 wasn't enough for him. Mans was desperate to hit 40. Give him a 40 piece, can't get it to go. How out of the corner? No. <laughs> it's stymied in the corner. They're trying to find They're trying to and, give it to and the Bones game. is like, yeah, I'm in. However, at the end of the day, the Clippers' skeleton crew couldn't hold off the Suns' late surge. Phoenix went on a game-ending rampage, outscoring the Clippers 23-2 down the stretch. The Suns, who were favored by 12, won by 16 points, sealing the fate of both the Warriors and the Lakers, who are now locked into the play-in tournament. Down in Miami, the Mavericks came out in full force, showing their unwavering support for their MVP candidate, Luka Doncic. But it wasn't just about the MVP race. There were financial stakes at play too. Irving's contract had a clause that said if the Mavs hit the 50 win mark, then Kai would secure a sweet million dollar bonus. So Uncle Drew came into the game looking like he wasn't about to leave any meat on the bone. Beat the buzzer. Yeah, baby. Kyrie Irving. Kai hits the bull 
bullseye and puts an exclamation point. Luka Magic did what he does best, orchestrate the offense with precision and finesse. Oh, the pirouettes! And with him leading the charge, the Mavericks remained red hot. Favored by three, they ended up steamrolling the Heat by 19 points, clinching the Southwest Division title in the process. After securing the bonus, Kyrie still had his eye on the prize. We just know that the job isn't finished and we're just getting started. And with the victory secured, it's official. The Mavericks will be squaring off against the Los Angeles Clippers in the first round of the playoffs for the third time in five years. For the Heat, who made an improbable run to the NBA, NBA Finals from the play-in tournament last year, it looks like they might have to take the same route this year. The stakes are high and the drama is just getting started. Chapter 6, Thursday night. Their loss, our gain. On Thursday, the postseason picture got even more interesting. Once upon a time, it appeared as though the Kings were guaranteed to make the playoffs. But since the All-Star break, they have been free-falling in the standings. However, they were fortunately still in the top half of the play-in, which would mean two chances to advance into the playoffs. Tonight, they were facing the Pelicans, and a lot was at stake. De'Aaron Fox understood the assignment and came out guns blazing. Scoring with the move inside. That's a count. Fox got it to in a foul. But unfortunately for them, the Pelicans also needed this game, and they weren't going to go down easy. CJ McCollum, playing the role of Kingslayer, rained down nine triples on Sacramento. A couple years How ago. good was that? Another three, eight of them, eight triples tonight for CJ McCollum. Kings fans were so pissed that they resorted to tossing rogue chicken wings onto the court. Somebody's throwing something on the floor. It's a chicken wing. Why would someone throw something? But for a second there, Zion almost gave the whole state of Louisiana a heart attack. Spins, leans, feeds, and he traveled down low, a turnover. As you see on his left hand, he has his left thumb taped up right now. Charles Barkley, ever so gracious, took this opportunity to drop some wisdom. When you're falling, right, right. and you know a lot of guys fall, they try to catch, no, you just... You do that. Yeah, there you go. Luckily, Zion was able to come back and help his team in serving the Kings a 12-point L. After the game, the Pelicans' vibes were immaculate. What is it like playing with this group? And got Brandon Ingram coming on the way as well. I mean, you see it right here. Yeah, we're, we're a team. With the weapons I got, it opened up the uh, floor for me. So, with B.I. coming back, come on, man. You know the answer to that. <laughs> to add even more insult to injury for Sacramento, this loss dropped them all the way down to the bottom of the play-in. In, in a three-way tie with the Lakers and the Warriors, this created the perfect storm for a nail-biting race to the finish line for these three teams. Meanwhile, in the land of the Jazz, Steady Freddy absolutely went off, exploding for a season-high 42 points. Now yep. going at it. And at oh, he made it! Are you kidding? He's hot! I told you he's hot! When his team needed him most down the stretch, the man went ice cold, 0 of 10 to end the game, leading to another Houston L. However, the best game of the night was in Boston. The Knicks stormed in with a singular mission to snatch that coveted number two seed from the Bucks. Jalen Brunson only played three quarters and he put up 39 points in that short period. This one is Brunson, two to one, he rises up and scores. This guy is ascending into the territory of the superstars. The Celtics, on the other hand, didn't have much to play for in this game. And it was obvious as none of their starters played over 30 minutes, with Tatum being being the exception. After the game, Brunson went right back to busting his teammates' balls. Also, Josh Hart pregame, he's like, this guy plays no defense. You're out there taking charges. I mean, what do you want to say to your own teammate? I'm not worried about him. He just runs around. He's not playing basketball. He's just running around. So. Chapter 7, Friday night the craziest ending to a season I have ever seen. On Friday, the NBA universe witnessed a frenzy on the penultimate night of the regular season, setting the stage for a wild finale. Just a few days ago, pundits would have bet their last dollar on the Nuggets clinching the top seed in the West. The defending champions strutted into Wemby's territory, seemingly in control of their fate. But they encountered some extraterrestrial wrath from Wembenyama. Right from the tip-off, it was evident that he meant business. Right back to Victor. Oh, Mama Wimbang Yama! To make matters worse, the Nuggets went and poked the Hornets' nest. Showing a little frustration, and then Gordon bodying up and. And a technical foul on 
Victor Wembanyama. Trey Jones trying to hang on, Sam. Understand your frustration. Let Pop do the argument. Fueled by this, and with the Nuggets sitting pretty with a 17-point lead, the Spurs launched a jaw-dropping 31-13 blitz, with Wemby leading the charge. Go ahead. Victor sealed the deal with a personal touch, showing just how much this victory meant to him. That will do it! Spurs win! The Nuggets' loss created a three-way tie for first place in the West. The Thunder, Wolves, and Nuggets now all have the same record, and they all have just one game left each. Meanwhile, whilst trying to avoid the dreaded play-in, the Pelicans were moving with a sense of direction. In a fiery showdown against the Warriors, C.J. McCollum continued to light up the scoreboard from downtown. C.J. got the good look, the three, yes! CJ, oh, have mercy. And with the Warriors stumbling, their path will likely lead to a nerve-wracking 9-10 seed play-in matchup. But for the Pelicans, it will be all or nothing against the Lakers in their regular season finale. A victory will secure the coveted sixth seed to avoid the play-in drama altogether. Over in Sacramento, the stakes couldn't be higher as the Suns and Kings dueled for seeding supremacy. The Kings burst out of the gate with fiery intensity. Fox to the rim, out to Murray, what a pass! But they imploded yet again with the Suns rallying from a 16-point deficit and Bradley Beal emerging as the hero. I think they're Beal, tough drive! And even tougher finish. Fox, Fox with the dribble drive. Cut off challenge, stripped away by Booker and the steal up ahead to Royce O'Neal. And the Suns with the thievery and the win. Wow. After the game, Beal left no doubt about his playoff mindset. You were really the spark down the stretch for this Suns team. What type of a zone were you in out there? Playoff zone, man. It's time. It's time. It's time to start playing defense. It's time to execute it and take care of the ball offense. It's time, man. We want to win the ring. It's time. It's time. It's time, Amanda. It's time. I'm, it's time. It's time. I'm hype. I'm hype as hell. I'm ready to go. However, in Memphis, the Lakers started the day in a frantic tie with Sacramento and Golden State for spots 8 to 10. But led by a playoff mode LeBron, they managed to surge up two spots in the standings with a three-point victory. Yeah. Here he goes. To the rim. To the rim. LeBron James. Over the top. Oh, LeBron with both the Warriors and Kings faltering, the Lakers capitalized on the opportunity, snatching the eighth seed, and now they control their destiny, heading into the final showdown against the Pelicans. At the same time, in Cleveland, the Cavs punched their ticket to the postseason and secured a top four seed in the East, guaranteeing them home court advantage in the first round. With the Pacers' loss to the Cavs, the playoff picture in the East is as tight as ever, with Orlando, Indiana, and the Sixers all knotted up for the fifth to seventh spot setting the stage for a thrilling final day of the regular season. If you end up enjoying this video, please subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind. Anyways, wherever you are in the world, be the goat of that moment. Stay goated.